Hi, everyone. This is Eva at Industrial Sound Mechanics. Today, I have invited Dr. Alexei Peshkovsky, our president and chief scientist, to talk a little bit about our now stabilizer formulations. Alexei, many of our customers who are making liquid and solid nano emulsions are wondering what kind of concentrations they can achieve uh, when they use the nano stabilizer formulations. They're also wondering what kind of ratios they should be using. Can you talk a little bit about that? Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a very common question. I'll be happy to address it. If you make nano emulsions uh, with uh, nano stabilizer LT, and you would like those nano emulsions to be translucent, then you would typically stay below 50 milligrams of your bioactive per milliliter of nano emulsion. So for a typical dose of 10 milligrams of, let's say, CBD or THC, you can have up to five doses per one milliliter of that nano emulsion. If you go to higher concentrations, you will start losing translucency. So somewhere around 60 or 70, it might still be translucent and become transparent or close to transparent once you dilute it. But if you go any higher than that, it's gonna become uh, progressively less and less translucent. To make this nano emulsion, we typically recommend using five parts of nano stabilizer to one part of your bioactive, uh, which will lead to droplet sizes of approximately 27 nanometers, uh, median droplet size. But if you use a lower ratio, uh, four to one, then you will still have a very translucent uh, product that once you dilute it into water or, or another beverage, it will go completely clear. Uh, the droplets will be a little bit bigger, maybe 30 or so nanometers. When you go to three to one, uh, it's still translucent, but now it's noticeably less translucent. So you'll be in the range of maybe 50, 60 nanometers for the median droplet size. And somewhere around two and a half to one or two to one, the translucency is lost. And the upper end of the, of the droplet size distribution, specifically D95, so some of the bigger droplets in your distribution, will get close to 200 uh, nanometers or maybe even start exceeding 200 nanometers, which is a problem because you can't do sterile filtration. Sterile filters have uh, 220 nanometer uh, pore sizes. So if your droplets get close to it or start exceeding that size, then you will start, start clogging the filters. So we don't recommend using anything less than approximately two and a half to one uh, of nanostabilizer LT to your bioactive extract. With nanostabilizer LSO, which you would typically use to make powdered nanomolecules, we recommend using only one concentration, 20 milligrams per milliliter in your uh, nano emulsion and using always four to one nano stabilizer to extract ratio, which means that once you've made your uh, liquid nano emulsion at 20 milligrams per milliliter and then you dried it, which means you will be getting rid of all the water, your concentration of bioactive extract in the dry product will be one to four or 20%. So you will end up with a 20% solid nano emulsion, which could be in the form of powder. And you can dilute that with another excipient powder to any concentration you want that would be lower than that. That's a high concentration that's typically sufficient for any application you may have, which could be diluting it with an excipient and pressing tablets, fast disintegrating or quick melting tablets that you place in the mouth and they fall apart and dissolve in your saliva, or powder that you would be reconstituting in water, whether it's a sugar packet uh, or, or another type of application where, for example, you would mix that powder with instant coffee or coffee that you would brew and where the water would dissolve the powder and uh, take the nano emulsion out into your finished beverage or anything similar to that. Thank you for that answer, Alexi. And thanks everyone for watching. If you would like to reach us, you can contact us through our website, soundmechanics.com, or you can leave a comment below. Have a great day, everyone.